Chris Hansen is back in full throttle and he spares no feelings in the new style of To Catch a Predator. He's actually even cursing, something we've never heard before. And as a former TCAP Predator said, Probably the cleanest, best pleasure. I would say. The cleanest, best pleasure. And rather than him coming to us, he initially wants the 14-year-old boy to come to him. And his reason isn't one that I've heard before. He has a glory hole set up. He wants... Hey, yo! If you don't know, a glory <laughs> hole is a hole in a wall designed for anonymous sexual encounter. We're sucking dick. And how did you meet Travis? What do you mean, how did that meeting? How did you meet him? How did you find out that you should... He was on Grindr. On Grindr. And what was the discussion on Grindr? I'm not. No, Jerry. No, oh, he's need, running. Don't, don't, you can't leave here. He's Jerry running. He tries to make a run for the door, but the Viper team oh, doesn't let him get very far. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, man. Let him get far. You can't leave here. Look Jerry tries to make down, a bro. run for the door, but the Viper team doesn't let him get very far. <laughs> Hold on. Jerry tries the to look. make a run. The look of oh shit. The look at his face. <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? We're going on a trip. On our favorite rocket ship. Straight to the jail. You're a pedophile. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. All right. All right, relax, relax, relax. Relax. Bring your hand back here. All right. Bring your hand back here. All right. Got it. Got it. Moving in. Jerry, how old did Travis you know say set. that he was in your conversation? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jerry? Oh. Jerry? Just relax, Jerry. I got a bad back, guys. We'll, we'll help you out. Aww. Just relax, okay? You can see the scar. Hey, oh, he has a bad back. Oh. Just relax, Jerry. We'll get you set up here in a second. Oh, my God. Fuck that. So on three, like we're going to set you on your behind. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh my back. Oh. <laughs> Suddenly, Jerry says he's in pain. We're going to call him Jerry Roll. Look at the gut, bro. And like many alleged predators, he tries to get sympathy after he's caught. But his diversion is not going to work. The eyes closed, hoping that none of this is real, and he's going to wake up, and no one's going to be there, and his back's going to feel better. <laughs> my back is killing me. All right, you want to... I don't know if any of y'all went to church, but did you guys ever ever do the thing where you press your eyes like that to make sure that the parents or the adults thought that you were actually praying? I did it all the time. That's what he's doing right now. Oh, this is all, this is all gonna go away. My back, my back. Please escort me out of here. Be checked out by the, by medical. <sighs> Even I am going to take a seat for this one. What we're gonna do here <laughs> is medical is not gonna come here. We're gonna <sighs> take it to them. Okay. okay. So uh, we need you to relax. Jerry, uh, Jerry, there's something you need to know. Oh, uh, my back. Jerry. What? I'm Chris Hansen. What? I know who you are. How do you know who I am? Oh, uh, because I've, uh, I've said I would never do this uh, and I did it anyway. Why did uh, you do it, Jerry? Because I'm stupid. It seems like your back is the least of your problems right now. Oh my God, my back is killing me. Okay, well, that'll be addressed in a minute here, but why did you think it was okay oh. to have this sort of conversation with somebody who said they were 14? Oh, because I'm stupid. <sighs> you talk about a glory hole, wanting the boy to go oh, to your house. Oh God, oh my back is killing me. Okay, there's, there's not a lot of sympathy here because of what you were here to do, Jerry. Do you understand that? I understand that. I have had surgery twice on my back, okay? okay? But you're also, And my back is hurting now. They're gonna take care uh, of that. But first, I wanna know <laughs> what you were thinking by coming over here to try to I have was sex. stupid, I'm telling you. Stupid, what do you do for a living, Jerry? Uh, nothing, I'm disabled. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. You're disabled. How long have you lived in this area? Oh my God, my back. Jerry. What? How long have you lived in this area? 
Five years. Five years. And I've never done this. You've before, never done it before. Ever. You seemed very oh. experienced at it, Jerry. You, I'm not. First so. of all, you said um. you're. First of all, you said you're 19. You sent a fake picture. Whose picture was that of the 19-year-old, Jerry? What? Whose picture the was picture it? Picture I got offline. Offline, but you said you were 19. Oh. Why would you tell somebody you were 19? Because I'm stupid. You're I stupid. told you. That's it. You're just uh, stupid. Yes. And what about all this talk about a glory hole and wanting the boy to come to you for sex? You talk about deep throating him that you'd swallow. <laughs> yeah, I was stupid. I was really fucking stupid. Well, what do you think would have happened, Jerry, had we not Nothing. been here and a 14-year-old boy had been here? Nothing. I really wanted to see if he was real. That's it. Okay. Well, you saw that when you walked in and you looked very excited. You even asked if anybody else was here. Why would you ask that? Because I'm dumb. Okay, that doesn't wash, Jerry. You're more than dumb. You were God here to damn, prey I'm on the child. They're going to take care of that in a minute. Oh. You think you're hurting? How would a 14 year old boy feel after you sexually assaulted them? I wasn't going to do anything. Okay, but that's not what you said in the chat, is it, Jerry? No, it's not. I said that already. Looking for that great head. the same questions. I already said that. Well, explain I it. I up, okay? I did a stupid thing. I don't need that in my face. Well, you sort of don't have a choice, Jerry. I thought your back was bad. No, you don't, really. Jerry turns away from me and the camera. What's your tattoo of, Jerry? I'm not talking to you anymore, so... Pouting like a <laughs> child. You have nothing else you want to say? No. <laughs> and you want me to believe that this is the first time you've done this? Well, I'm telling you it is, so whatever. Do you see why I would not believe that? I don't care if you believe me or not. Do you see how this looks? <laughs> Yeah, I know how it looks. It's really f***ing dumb of me for doing what I did. Really f***ing dumb. And you see why it would be hard for me to believe this is your first time doing it. Well, I don't care if you believe me or not. I'm telling you it is, so... You just woke up today and said, I'm going to try to meet a 14-year-old boy online for sex. No, I wasn't, actually. I was looking for older. Okay, but you found a 14-year-old and you acted upon it, didn't you? Yeah, like an idiot. Okay. Do I you... knew better than that too. Do you have a glory hole in your home? No. Why did you say it then? Because I would have made one, but not for him. <laughs> Wait, you said you would have made a glory hole for this boy. No, not for the boy. Well, that's what you said, Jerry. That's not what I meant. Sounds like Jerry is starting to get angry. You're trying to get me all f***ed up now, and I'm not doing it. Jerry, have you seen my shows before? Yes. What did you think of those shows? How stupid the people were. Did you ever think you'd be on one of those no, shows, No, because I'd never wanted to do anything like this before in my life. Why today? Because I'm stupid. I told you I made a dumb ass decision. It's a man-child. You sent a picture of somebody who was 19. And then once you figured out that the 14-year-old you thought you were talking to might be open to sex, you say, oh, wait, I'm 47. Is that okay? It sounds like grooming to me, Jerry. No, it wasn't. Well, I what is it? Tell me, tell me what it is. I told you I was stupid. All right, that's a cop out, Jerry. You're not, you're not getting to the truth here. I'm telling you the truth. I was stupid. I was dumb. And now you're getting arrested. I got to face it now. Nothing I can do about it. What do you think should happen to you, Jerry? Jerry? I didn't do anything to anybody, but yes, I was dumb. The crime was committed in the chat. I know that. So you know the law, right? My boy yeah. Chris Hansen out here, it. back at it, baby. And so it's hard for me to believe that had we not been here, it seems like you would have done something. Yeah, can you quit talking because I really don't want to listen to you. I just want to go down to the jailhouse, call my lawyer, be done with that part. I'm tired of listening to you. You're tired of listening to me? Yeah. All right. Is there anything else you want folks to know about this situation? Yeah, don't f***ing do it. You're stupid if you do. Okay. Jerry, thanks for talking to us. Yes. Fuck Jerry. These, these guys want to <clears throat> take over from here. Jerry, come on. Let's turn around back on your, uh, back on your butt. You're going to have to help me get up. We'll help you. He is taken away by the Monroe County Sheriff's Office Viper Task Force. 
But something happens on the way to the sheriff's office detention center that shocks even me. Sergeant Mike Predmore fills me in on the details. So you heard from the transport crew and the people at the sheriff's department? Yeah, I got a telephone call from Detective Davison that was uh, transporting Jerry to the substation for an interview. And during the ride, uh, Jerry offered up information about our location. And he actually was uh, glad that we're here because there's a lot of people in here that are just like him. Yeah. Really? He did, yeah. So he even brought up a, the guy that drives the green golf cart that stops and talks to a lot of kids in the neighborhood. Wait, oh, so shit. Jerry, who was just the arrested from for earlier. showing up here to have sex with a 14-year-old boy, tells your detective that he's glad we're here because this place is filled with predators? That's what he told him, yes. Yeah. What do you make of that? I mean, you can't make this stuff up, right? So that's telling me that we're here, we're in the right spot, and we're doing a good thing to get these people God's the work. While in custody, he's seen by EMTs for his complaints of pain. And not surprisingly, they find no serious injuries. And Jerry decides to tell the detective about his concerns about one of his neighbors. So tell me more about, you said, I know you mentioned something about there's other people. You know what these concerns are? Um, nothing more than him actually hanging out with all these dudes and sharing pictures, probably CP. I can't say that word on YouTube. Um, and just probably plotting on the underage people that live in the neighborhood and in, in the area. He said the area is filled with predators and he just happens to be a concerned citizen who happens to be caught at a sting operation with Chris Hansen. I mean... I don't, I don't need to tell the police that they know. They're going to see right through the bullshit. I'm just translating what's going on to you, the audience, because that's what's going on right now. Tell me more about, you said, I know you mentioned something about there's other people in the park. What do you, what do you know about these other people? I know the guy with the green golf purse. Creepy. I mean, there's other... Do you know his name? Can you, can you describe him for me? Does he live around you? He says... To so some people that he's in his 40s, other people he says he's 30. I know that he hit me up on Grinder and he said he was 30, but he looks like he's in his late 40s. Um, Have you ever met with him? No, he just creeped me out. And um, the creep got creeped. I out. see him because I have cameras on my trailer that watch things and yeah. Um, I yeah, see him kids. scrolling past all the time when the kids are out playing. And... Yeah, the predator is concerned with what the other predator is doing. Isn't that just hilarious? Oh, no, I'm not watching the kids. I'm watching him watch the kids. And me as a creep gets creeped out of the creep creeping on other children because I've got competition now. I've always been cautious of him because of that. You know, like I've watched him. Jerry was charged with three felonies, child abuse of commercial activity, using a computer to commit a crime, and accosting a child for immoral purposes. All right, good luck to you, Jerry. While golf cart Matt and glory hole Jerry weren't friends prior to meeting the Viper team and me, they've had plenty of time getting acquainted behind bars. I believe Jerry and Matt now have been introduced and they're sitting in the same cell together as we speak. <coughs> so they're neighbors again? Oh yeah, they're even closer than normal now. What must that conversation If you enjoyed this type of content, let me know in the comments section, whether on IG, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. And I will react to a lot more Chris Hansen because he is back and doing God's work, which is catching these predators. You love to see it. There's a lot of other people too on YouTube. Uh, Rumble who have been doing this line of work and catching these predators and I say the more the merry we got to get these motherfuckers off the street protect the children at all costs have some type of moral compass save the youth protect the youth um that's all I got to say like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video